Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we have here Dispute of the Towers. We're going to be starting off with Wave 30. Why Wave 30? Because when you re get your rewards, uh, Wave 30 is going to give you Lucky Coin. Um, the waves after that, 31 to, thir to 42, you're only going to be receiving Silver Box. So, I would leave it up to you if you still want to continue to clear all the waves but importantly you need to clear up to wave 30 for you to get all of the lucky coins so for this showcase we're going to be discussing team composition the position where you should be in and the purchase strategy which comes first Okay, so for purchase strategy, since we don't have a healer, the only thing that you should buy is reset all supply sites. This is, this is at a 900 currency. Currently, I, I am at 360. So this one is going to be your purchase, the only purchase that you're going to be needing. Since you have most of the damage within your operatives, you sh I actually have... Um, Life Wild Hunt, I have Chen Xing Ethereal Cloud, and I have Kaguya Akasha as my main team. So both will give you, both Chen Xing and Life will give you AoE damage, while um, Kaguya will be giving you lower elemental resistance. So let's continue this and see how this goes. So this is already Wave 31. The beginning of wave 31 this is the area wherein you should position yourself at this point this is, this has a bottleneck in which you only be defending two sides so this is very important because if you move to the other places of the map it's going to be you're going to be defending a lot of sides and it would be difficult for you at this point so please make sure that you choose this side to defend your um your squad so this side here this is an l-shaped squad so you all you have to do is basically lure everybody here if they are not coming to your position you actually have to inch closer and see if they will be going to you so again I'm actually very careful at this point because the enemies are getting tougher and tougher. But all you have to do is um, inch by inch, take them out. You cannot take them out as a whole. So we only have two enemies left. There you go. So we have one more to finish up. So at this point, I'd like to use Ethereal Cloud for multiple damages. She is actually already on the danger zone in terms of HP. So it would be a risk putting her out. I'll have to finish this stage with life in mind. But again, if you still have time and you have one enemy left, and you think you have other HP sites, then go to that first before you take out the last enemy. Right now, I don't have any more HP sites. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm just waiting for the other stages to drop so that I could reset my supply sites. So we are at wave 32. So again, the team comp that I have is Ethereal Cloud. We have um, we have Wild Hunt. Again, this is a very good area to defend. You have cover here installed. And uh, most of the time, you'll be okay here. There, there might be some instances that you need to withdraw from your position. But it will be manageable because there are a few escape um, areas here. So it wouldn't be a problem. I 
As you can see there, I escaped, but I need to go back. If it's too much of a heat, then... Ow, oh, ow. So there you go. I was trapped. But again, guys, that is the position that you are going to be, you know, positioning yourselves. Um, you can actually use a revive in once a station is up. But definitely, you won't be getting any HP anymore. Uh, depends really on how much currency you have. So at this point, you may reset this if you're not satisfied with clearing wave 31. So right now, I'm in dire straits already. But uh, managed to pull that one out. So again, this stage is one of the best defensive sites. If too much pressure is actually placed on top, you could actually go down. If you exit this, you can actually resume where you left off. Okay, but again, you're still at 360. So, and you're down to... Okay, so we are at wave 31. Sorry, you can actually reset it. And go back at, at full strength and uh, probably skill it out. There you go. My point is you can actually just reset. If you're not satisfied that your, um, your operative died, you can actually reset a certain point wherein that operative goes back. Then you can revisit that stage and clear it better probably just want to you know emphasize that if you cannot if you think that your run isn't really that good you can actually reload as you can see here i'm at level 30 still but i cleared 31 and 32 so basically if you cannot clear um up to certain stages then you can still go back to where you um initially were you know were were good at at 30 then you can restart everything from there so thank you very much guys for staying this far i hope this helped and um, again if you don't have two aoe dps you can actually bring others um particularly um yao five star uh if you are interested in shooting from afar if you are not being harassed anymore then you could eventually use a what they call this use yao five star also guys this uh scenario stage is not limited to a no healer team you could definitely bring a healer just in case you you feel the need to bring a healer so yao four star i think is the best healer for this stage. so again guys thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here